Love You Like Christmas is one of those films that, although is predictable and cliche, it's thoroughly enjoyable and very engaging. And I think part of the reason for that is because the protagonist is quite likeable and not what I was expecting from when she was first introduced. The narrative is not too unique, but in terms of being a Christmas film, it's exceptionally festive. So this one was released in 2016, another Hallmark film, and it was directed by Graham Campbell and written by Karen Berger. And it's actually won two awards, which I don't see that often for Hallmark films, but actually looking at the awards now, I completely understand. So Madison Bridges won the Young Artist Award and the Young Entertainer Award, and I completely understand why one of the points I was going to make here is that her enthusiasm is so fabulous. She she plays our child character. Every Christmas film tends to have a young child in it of some sort, and that really helps to capture the Christmas magic and keep things youthful and fun and, and, and exciting. And absolutely, she she does that here. She really brings a lot of energy, a youthful spirit, and it's very infectious, definitely infectious. The narrative in which she brings that festive spirit is as follows from IMDb. A high-powered executive reconsiders her priorities when car trouble leads her to Christmas Valley, a town in love with Christmas. First of all, the name Christmas Valley, it actually has a meaning. There's a reason why it's called Christmas Valley, and I thought it was a nice, clever way to say we're not just being cheesy, we're going to give a proper reason behind this. And I think that was a nice little touch, because sometimes these little villages have really cheesy, over-the-top names and no real reason for it, but this one does. And basically, our protagonist, Maddie, finds herself in Christmas Valley after her car breaks down and she's spending time with, well, really, with a young girl called Jo because they, they get on really quickly, very easily. And she keeps bumping into Jo's father, Kevin, who becomes the typical romantic interest of a Hallmark Christmas film. But I, I like I like the way their relationship is is portrayed on screen. It doesn't feel forced. It's not completely predictable to begin with. It's not instant. It has time to build and grow. I'm sure you will have seen many romance films or rom coms where a couple meet and fall in love instantly, and it's unbelievable. But this one actually works quite well. I think it got the pacing almost down to a T. What's weird about this film, on reflection, is that not a lot really happens. Maddie doesn't really get up to very much. She has some work things to deal with. She spends some time with Jo. She does some Christmassy things. But there's not really a lot going on in terms of the plot. And yet I still enjoyed it, and it never really felt that slow. One thing I did love is that Maddie is a marketing executive, and she begins to help Kevin with the marketing of his Christmas tree firm. Firm's not the right word. Family business. And I love how passionate she is about her work. She really gets into the swing of it. And that's really infectious as well. I really kind of feel that positivity and that determination and the beautiful thing that it is to have goals and dreams and hopes and aspirations. And that really oozes. And that's something that I always love in a film. So for me, I think characterization was really brilliant and I really thoroughly enjoyed every aspect of this film. As I said at the beginning, it was quite predictable and a little bit cliche, but, you know, Bonnie Somerville gave a great performance. Maddie as a character was very likeable. At the beginning, I didn't think I would end up liking her, but I really did. Madison Bridges was so wonderful and lively as Joe, maybe a little over-enthusiastic at times, but it's really fun to watch. And then Brennan Elliott as Kevin was a very typical, very typical average love interest. But I enjoyed his performance and he definitely looked the part, certainly. Love You Like Christmas is a very nice film. It's not groundbreaking, it's not innovative, but it's a lovely way to spend an afternoon and to get into the festive spirit and just feel a little bit better about the world. If you're looking for a Hallmark film to watch, I'd say Love You Like Christmas is a safe bet.